Hey folks, Will from Min.io here with another how-to. Today we're going to be copying objects in Min.io using JavaScript. And as is usual with our JavaScript how-tos, I'm using Node version 18. We're going to be working on play.min.io and we're going to be showing you the code in Visual Studio Code. Let's take a look at our code. As usual, we're connecting to our play.min.io sandbox using the min.io demo function playConnect. So let's take a look at our copy object method. And the copy object method takes a bucket and an object name. Both of those are the to part of the copy. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be copying to the JavaScript demo bucket. And the object name is going to be new object slash mdf dash two dot js. So I'm actually adding a prefix in here as well. The next item is going to be the source. And for this, I need to give it the full path from the root of my server. And so I'm giving it JavaScript demo bucket mdf-2.js. And I have a little return function here that's going to say, yes, I successfully copied the object. So let me go ahead and run this real quick with Node. And I've successfully copied it. If I want to take a look at this, I can use our min.io command line client. I'm going to do an ls-r on play. And I'm going to take a look at JavaScript demo bucket. And there is both our original file and this new one under new object MDF-2. Now, there's some other items here in the copy object that we may want to work with. Notice that we have this conditions piece. It's not required. I just ran it without the conditions. But conditions let you copy only the exact object that you want to find. Now, in this case, I'm going to copy the same file that I did before. And I'm going to make sure that I am matching the e tag of the object. Now, the e tag is based on the object content. So as you can see here below, I've got this e tag. I'm actually copying this original using the same e tag. So now if I add my conditions in here and I run this again after saving it, this is actually going to fail, and I'll tell you why in just a second. So this actually gives me an error back, and the error is because I did not meet my precondition. Now, why didn't I meet my precondition? In point of fact, it's because I deliberately left off a 9 on the end of this e tag number, which I need to keep. Okay, so I'm putting the 9 back in. I've saved it again. Now, if I run it one more time, it will actually function, and it will copy the object as expected. So... Those conditions, very important if you want to use them. What other conditions might I use? I might do a condition that matches a specific version. If I want to pull all the old versions of something into a new bucket or into a new directory or a new prefix so that I can work with them. So there's lots of different reasons why I might use these conditions. So it's actually a very powerful tool to have that condition available for you. And that's our demonstration on copying objects. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you'd like to communicate with us, you can reach out to us using any of the methods you see here on your screen. You can always Slack us on minio.slack.com. And of course, you can always just give us a comment on this video and we will get back to you. Thanks again. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you for the next one.